To connect your hardware and set up the network, you can follow the quick installation guide or start with the quick setup video. But what happens if you still can't access the internet afterwards? Don't worry. Just follow the instructions in this video step by step until your problem is solved. Before we start, make sure your modem is connected to the WAN port of your router and your PC is connected to your router's LAN port. Step 1. Reboot the modem. Turn off the modem. Unplug the modem's power cord and take out the battery if there is any. Then make sure all LEDs are off on the modem. After one minute, turn on the modem again. Wait until the modem's on LED is solid. Now check whether you can access the internet. Step 2. Test the ISP network by connecting your PC directly to the modem. Disconnect the router and connect the PC directly to the modem. Reboot the modem and wait one minute. Check whether the PC can access the internet. If it's still unable, then the ISP network may be unavailable. Contact your ISP. If your PC can access the internet, go to step 3. Step 3. Log into the web management page to check your internet status. Again, connect your router to the modem and connect your PC to the router. Log into the web management page of the router. Go to Advance, then Status to check your internet status, including your internet IP address or WAN IP address, default gateway, and DNS server. Please note that if your IP address is 192.168.100.x, that means it's temporarily assigned by the modem before the modem detects the network. So you should check it again after 3 minutes. If the internet IP address or WAN IP address is all zeros, or a private IP address, go to step 4. Otherwise, it's a public IP address, so jump to step 7. Step 4. Clone your PC's MAC address. Make sure that your PC is connected to the router via an Ethernet cable. Go to Advance, then Network, and select Internet. In the MAC clone section, select Use Current Computer MAC Address and click Save. Now check whether you can access the Internet. Step 5. Reboot the modem and reconnect the coaxial cable. Turn off your modem. Unplug its coaxial cable and take out its battery if there is any. Wait one minute. Then turn on the modem. Wait until your router's internet LED turns on. Then reconnect the coaxial cable to the modem. Wait another minute. Then check whether you can access the internet. If you can't, check your internet status. If the internet IP address or WAN IP address is all zeros or a private IP address, go to step 6. Otherwise, it's a public IP address, so jump to step 7. Step 6. Get IP using Unicast DHCP. Go to Advance, then Network, and select Internet. Click Advance and select Get IP using Unicast DHCP. Click Save. Then check whether you can access the internet. If you can't, check your internet status. If the internet IP address or WAN IP address is all zeros, or a private IP address, contact technical support and report all the above steps that you followed. Otherwise, it's a public IP address and go to Step 7. Step 7. Configure the DNS server. Go to Advance, then Network, and select Internet. Click Advance and select Use the following DNS server. Enter 8.8.8.8 as the primary DNS, and 8.8.4.4 as a secondary DNS. Click Save. Now check whether you can access the internet. If you've tried every method above but still cannot access the internet,
please contact technical support and report all the above steps that you followed. Thank you.